you want to pass the driving test and take advantage of the freedom and mobility that driving a car can give you, do the following three things and you will achieve your goal. Passing the driving test. Acquire knowledge of the rules for your instructor and be carefully studying the highway code. The key element is to test and reinforce your knowledge. Take the right attitude. Be careful, courteous and considerate to all other road users. Learn and understand the skills of driving by taking lessons from a trained and fully qualified driving instructor. You want to pass the driving test and take advantage of the freedom and mobility that driving a car can give you. Do the following three things and you will achieve your goal, passing the driving test. Acquire knowledge of the rules through your instructor and be carefully studying the highway code. The key element is to test and reinforce your knowledge. Take the right attitude. Be careful, courteous and considerate to all other road users. Learn and understand the skills of driving by taking lessons from a trained and fully qualified driving instructor. You want to pass the driving test and take advantage of the freedom and mobility that driving a car can give you. Do the following three things and you will achieve your goal, passing the driving test. Acquire knowledge of the rules through your instructor and be carefully studying the highway code. A key element is to test and reinforce your knowledge. Take the right attitude. Be careful, courteous and considerate to all other road users. Learn and understand the skills of driving by taking lessons from a trained and fully qualified driving instructor. Pedestrians most at risk include elderly people and children. Elderly people and others who cannot move easily may be slow to cross the roads. You must give them plenty of time. Children don't have a sense of danger on the road. They can't tell how close a car is or how fast it's going. They may run into the, in, out into the road without looking, or they may step out behind you when you are reversing. You may not see them because they are small. Pedestrians most at risk include elderly people and children. Elderly people are others and others who cannot move easily may be slow to cross the roads. You must give them plenty of time. Children don't have a sense of danger on the road. They, can tell, they can't tell how close a car is or how fast it's going. They may run it out into the road without looking or they may step out behind you when you're reversing. You may not see them because they are small. Pedestrians most at risk include elderly people and children. Elderly people and others who cannot move easily may be slower to cross roads. You must give them plenty of time. Children don't have a sense of danger on the road. They can't tell how close a car is or how fast it is going. They may run out into the road without looking, or they may step out behind you when you are reversing. You may not see them because they are small. Pedestrians most at risk include elderly people and children. Elderly people and others who cannot move easily may be slower to cross roads. You must give them plenty of time. Children don't have a sense of danger on the road. They can't tell how close a car is or how fast it is going. They may run out into the road without looking, or they may step out behind you when you are reversing. You may not see them because they are small.